So I have here one of these cute little generators, and as I spin the handle, I generate electricity. That electricity then flows into the capacitor where it's stored as energy. When I release the handle, that is when I stop spinning it, then the capacitor releases the, the stored energy, electricity flows through these wires and into the generator, and now it acts as a motor. A motor is just a generator run in reverse. And so I generator storing electricity in the capacitor. Now the capacitor supplies the electricity, and this is a motor. And you see that you could use this handle to do some work. What's interesting to me about this is that I would have naively thought that as I spin this to store the energy in the capacitor, and then when I let go, I would have thought it would have spun back the other way. Crank this way, and then it comes back this way. That's clearly not what happens. It spins, when it's being released, the handle spins in the same direction that you are spinning to generate the electricity. Let's find out why. Well, at first, when I'm spinning the handle and using it as a generator, imagine this is the coil of wire, because for any generator you have, you know, a coil of wire and a magnetic field. And as this guy spins upward, the flux, flux is this symbol here, phi, and flux is equal to the magnetic field times the area. That's what flux is. So the magnetic field is staying constant. It's just the magnetic field value that's pointing out of the board. But the area, when the coil's like this, there is no area facing the magnetic field, and therefore there is zero flux and zero voltage created. But when it comes in to the direction of the magnetic field, now you have maximum flux, and therefore you're generating a maximum voltage. Notice that it's also over delta T, so it has to be changing with time. So you can't just hold it like this, it has to be moving. Good. So now, check this out. As this coil comes up and faces the magnetic field more and more, well, the, the flux is increasing, and therefore, with Lenz's law, what's going to happen is electricity is going to flow like this to generate an opposing magnetic field, which opposes the increasing magnetic field this way. So increasing because the flux is increasing. So as I bring this up, you get more and more magnetic field in this area, and therefore electricity starts flowing like this to oppose that change. Well, that's how the electricity is generated and then stored in the capacitor. Now, what happens on the return trip? Well, on the return trip, electricity is flowing like this because it's coming from the capacitor. And I'll just draw the top in. So now I have current flowing like this. And then you need a force to turn the handle. Well, force is created like this. Current, the direction of the current crossed with the magnetic field. This should be a vector side. And since they're perpendicular, well, yeah, they are perpendicular, we just get L times B. Now let's look at direction. Well, the current is flowing this way. The magnetic field, right, is out of the board. The magnetic field hasn't changed. And therefore, the force is up. In other words, if this coil is like this, current flowing this way, magnetic field out, the force is up, which will cause it to turn this way, which was the same direction we were turning it to generate the electricity. So there you go. One direction in, same direction out.